my video today will be about this 65 Impala. It's been sitting in a barn for the better part of 25, 26 years. Uh, I ask you to watch the video at the end and I hope you enjoy it. This is my brother-in-law's 1965 Chevrolet Impala. It's a super sports 327 car. It's a, uh, has a two speed power glide. This was a car he drove back in high school, back in the nineties. He delivered pizza in this car. I don't know if you could imagine how cool it would be to get a pizza delivered from a 65 Impala SS, but I imagine it was pretty cool. He drove this car in the early 90s until it was gifted to him from his father as a graduation gift. numbers matching car. This car is 100% complete. Here in a moment I'll move these cornhole boards. Pretty clear my brother-in-law is talented. And show you the rest of the car. Boards are moved. There's a complete side shot of the car. Here in a moment I'll move the uh, stuff off the hood. I'll show you underneath the hood and how original it is and then I'll show you inside the car. For as long as I've known my brother-in-law, Tony, this is exactly the way the cars look with the exception of the barn dust and sawdust. It's always had these wheels and it's always had that kind of that low sitting stance. Uh, it's the way he drove it around and the car got off a lot of attention even back in the day. The interior of the car for being nearly 57 years old, is in pretty good condition. The seats are in good condition. The back seat is in good condition. The door panels are in good original condition. The dash pads and likewise good condition. This car has 89,000 original miles. The car always I thought was cool had this vacuum gauge when the car would sit there and I'd let the thing would sit there and bounce. Original radio, clock, all of the SS trim is still here. Original steering wheel in excellent condition. Something I'd point out, I think this car's had a repaint. I think this car was black at one point. I'm sure it was a beautiful car in its day. Here's the engine compartment of the car. 327 engine. Power brakes. Has a Frigidaire AC unit. It's got a condenser and everything here. I don't know if that's original to the car though. I don't, I don't know enough about that. But everything is here. I always thought that the bottle was neat. I didn't know what that was about. I didn't know if it was what it was supposed to hold or contain. It's not hooked to nothing. Maybe somebody viewing this will know. I'll do one more walk around. I appreciate him giving me permission to video and share this car. I hope you enjoy looking at it and seeing it. I didn't open the trunk only because the original key is in the ignition, but there wasn't a trunk key and I wasn't able to get it open. And uh, that's his car. So the last tag was 1996, I remember that's about when the car got parked. Even with that many miles, the car started smoking just a little. And my brother-in-law didn't want to do or cause any damage to anything, so he started storing it. And as I've stated a couple times in this, the man works really hard, so he hadn't has the 
hadn't had the time to get after this kind of a project because he wants it done right. Anybody that's watching this, I ask that you, uh, if you have any questions or want to see more of it or anything specific, uh, feel free to comment and I will get to it. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel. I have a couple other videos you might enjoy. If you'll email me your name and a picture of your project car, 698garage at gmail.com. In 10 days, I'm going to hold a drawing to my subscribers and we'll give away a $100 O'Reilly gift card.